is up. Uh, people, well, people in the chat in our in our group, whatever. Oh, uh, yeah, it's, there, it's fine. Don't worry about me. There was uh, that that um, hunter Skeksis mm -hmm. who died. Yes. And when they all the other Skeksis were in such fucking denial it's that language. when they realized that it was dead, they were like in shock. They're like, yeah. no, no, we can't die. We're Skeksis. We can't die. And seeing them lose their shit about that, that that's when the show really won me over. I'm like, this is great. Because mm -hmm. you've got, like, the Gelfling, you've got the Mystics, you got the Pollux, that, that one Pollux Paladin is adorable. I love mm -hmm. him. Yes. Protect him by... Because mm -hmm. uh, one of my biggest... One of my biggest issues, though, and the show, as it progresses, it's got, it's got a little bit easier to tell them apart, but that's the thing. Uh, there's so many Gelflings, and they all, like, I know they're trying to give them designs to make them look, like, different, unique, yep. but there are moments where I'm like, who the fuck is who? Like, I just see Gelflings everywhere, and they all look the same. Even the Skeksis, they all look the same. <laughs> yeah. I, wow, yeah, racist. I, <laughs> yeah, I get that. Uh, just, uh, and also, like, the Mystics, e even more so, look very similar to each other. They all, like, dress the same and all that stuff, but, um, yeah, it, it gets easier as you get to know the characters better um okay. to, to tell them apart um i just this show is fantastic and i love it and i think if anybody here in the chat has watched the original and loved it you really need to check this out <laughs> and well, if you you, like and even if you haven't seen it and you're interested definitely check it out because it's it's like a one of a kind sort of like it is thing. The, the visuals, the puppetry is is probably some of the most impressive I've ever seen. Like, truly groundbreaking. Detailed, beautiful, and seamless. There was only one scene where I was like, this is weird. Um, the, pers the perspective was way off with, like, the how they were trying to, like, oh, they're running on the mountainside. Why do they look like giants? But as far as, like, hey, this is what led to the Dark Crystal, the movie. This is how the Gelflings caught on with the Skeksis. This is how the Skeksis... Uh, trying to fight back, and this is how, like, these different... I, I was wondering... Saber's having a moment right now. No, legitimately, though, like... The no, I love it. Carry on. Uh, I was just gonna say, though, is, like, it's interesting seeing these different tribes figure each other out, and that they've all been duped. That's good. I mean, it's not, like, overly complicated, and it's, there are some trophy stuff, but, like, overall, like, this is a good show. And, like, is Deet the main character, would you say? Uh, yeah, I mean, like, Deet... Rianne and Brea are all the main characters, but Dee definitely, it, it seems like she has a, a one of the bigger roles, it seems, in in the saving, or, like, in just, in general. Uh, well, her, her like character... my favorite character. I love her. <laughs> yeah, she's very well done. Out of all the Gelflings, her character is the most well done, in yeah. my opinion. Yeah. And also having Andy Samberg as that one sketch season was fantastic, too. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I mean, I, I recommend the show. I think it's really fucking good. Yep. Yeah, that was uh, really fucking better. Yeah. Yeah, for those who don't know, they had a moment where the, the, the puppets in the show put on a puppet show for the yeah. puppets. It's so <laughs> great. Oh, really? It's amazing. And they got Barnaby Dixon with his hand puppets to do it, too. It was just so cool. <laughs> so that's that that's basically a caption from the show? That's not yeah. a... No, oh yeah. My. That's that's an actual caption that, just, that I got. I thought that was a meme that was developing from the show. No, that's actually an actual quote because they actually put on a puppet show. <laughs> yeah, it's so wonderful. It's I love it so much more now. Yeah. All right, shall we bring everybody back in? Do we watch, have to? Watch Dark Crystal. Yep. Do it. All right. Yo, Jeffrey! <laughs> We're back. AC Race Fest. My husband. Oh my gosh. We haven't Your boyfriend. Uh, I mean, if you want to talk about it, sure. No, I'll, I'll save okay. it for another time. Yeah. Right, are you I'll done? Have to wait for this. Yes, we're done. Okay, um, Sarah, as so, we as we get ready to do Q&A, mm -hmm. we'll do about 15 minutes of Q&A. Can we please show everybody the Paul Blart... I was able to track this down 
Go, actually, go down here. Uh-huh. Um, what? Ah, never mind. You're fine. Alright, here's the link for y'all so y'all can watch Back in Hill. And we're, we're gonna be starting this at 4 minutes and 16 seconds. Yeah. Does this play audio? I don't know how loud this is going to be. 4.16. Alright, so you guys ready for this? I guess so. Dismantle art. I can't believe this was a decade ago. Right? Oh my god. I feel like Paul Bart Mall Cup came out three years ago. We're all getting old. It, it was a very long, um, <laughs> there we go. It has marketing, been a very long, all right. very long marketing period. All right. Are we all ready for this? Yeah. Yo. All Three, right. Three, two, one, go. Is there going to be ice? Yes. Oh, Lord. Yes. I love the helmet. <laughs> so official. Insanity. Absolute insanity. I remember watching this in person and just being like, well mastered that segue on that. Uh, he was running laps around on the banking a little earlier, and it's his job to pace the field. You know, Kevin was the grand marshal at Daytona, was it a couple of years ago for the July race, and gave the command to start engines and probably the most stirring command that I've ever heard in my life. Let's say it with me. It's rather impressive just seeing it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we're looking at coming out of turn number four. That speed and everyone hitting the brakes. <laughs> I have a feeling the tower is not going to be happy with that restart. So let's throw the uh, caution back out and carry on again. So, Race, you said that you actually like, saw him close up to you fist bump to this guy, right? Yeah, yeah after he did so, this. Like, you can confirm that was, in fact, Kevin James. Yeah, no, that's Kevin James. Because it would be so much cheaper and so much easier just to find someone who looks a lot like him. Because he's so far away, you would oh, yeah. know tell. No, I mean, they, they zero, that, there he is. Like, that's that's him. Yeah. I have to imagine he lives near the area. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> Salute the crowd. <laughs> so that was it. <laughs> I approve. I like, I like how the announcers were like, we don't know if he put on weight for the role or if it was just there. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So yeah, this was the biggest event that they was hosted at this track. It lasted for a couple of years. Um, it was called the Toyota All Star Showdown. It was something Toyota obviously put on. Oh my God, what an incredible event it was! Yes, that was Kevin James. I think by the time I saw him, I think he'd already changed out of his stuff. Paul Blart. Yeah, I think Outfit. I think he was just kind of wearing a regular T-shirt and whatnot. But uh, all right, hi Exio. Yeah, yeah, Exio coming yeah. in with a super chat. Whoa. Man, hey guys, I just wanted to show you I'm here. Been a rough week, but you guys always make my next week better. You're all awesome. Here's a question. How did you guys uh, go into a complete circle during EQLA 2012? Oh, God. 